it's your boy T Bear here in the reaction. So this is gonna be the first time I ever do re well, it's not not really the first time I did reaction to my boy right here though, and this is like conversation and stuff to his reaction, but this is like more to his thoughts than anything. And this is one of my favorite members of well. I want to say my favorite members. I like all the members of In The Clutch, Clutch Squad. You know, Kick and Ross was his own channel. He kills it with the wrestling video, fashion videos. He picked some of the videos I be watching, like the Apex and the Apex Legend, even the information one, you know, before I wasn't down for it because I didn't care for the talk, but some of the stuff is be worth watching. And him, he makes me want to watch it though. He had a couple of ones that I'm seeing there I might want to check out, but yeah. But, I gotta check this out. This is more about his thoughts than anything. Whew. In, I got love and respect for Ross. And I mean, I love that he's a wrestling fan or anything. Think about it, but he, we are definitely different when it comes to wrestling fan. You know, I'm like, I, you know me, I am, I sure hope, I wish to admit, I sure hope, I'll like, you know, I'm about, you know, one, I'm about the faces. One. Two. I give the benefit of the doubt, you know what I'm saying? I always get the benefit of the doubt. But I will say, any question crew is is that in general, but Rawls keeps it real, lets, know, lets you know how, what he thinks about wrestling. I do too, but he like keep it tr tr truly true. Like, to the point, he'll let you know what he does not like. You saw right there why I react to this, his thing about the Goldberg and Lashley thing. And lets you know how much he don't care or how much he's tired of Gimmick, uh, certain gimmicks, certain feuds, certain runs, or anything. The first time I noticed that when he was, when the fiend with when that uh Seth Rollins and he said he don't care about face Seth Rollins anymore. Uh and uh, you know he he doesn't watch Raw no more. Well, he hates Raw. I'll tell you right that he hates Raw. Don't blame him, but I like I you know me I I I uh you know like the be the, the good sport about it but even it kills me but yeah so these what i'm saying because i was shocked at this video right here he didn't watch war games and the time the title said why i didn't watch nxt war game and his and we know he has like uh words captioned on the the thumbnail he said i do not care for nxt no more Whoo! and it's the thing about it he was all in on NXT. The fact that he's not cared about it anymore, I is like I understand. I'm gonna put it like this: I understand, cause you know, a lot of folks are not a fan of the NXT 2.0 anymore. I personally like it. You know what I'm saying? I like I like where they're going with this though. No, I was upset that the Black and Gold lost, but I see I I get, but I can say I get why they did it. And you, you saw my I, I you know how I feel about. How do I feel about the uh, ending of last night with Johnny Gargano and Grace Waller? Johnny Gargano had a little speech and everything, and Grace Waller interrupted it. Y'all saw my videos I made about the 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 sound bite or anything, because that's how I felt. The JR commentary I had on it, that's how I felt. Yeah, but anyway, but whew, I gotta hear what you guys said about this. And I, was, I thought it was gonna be the only video, but here's another one saying that he's the only one not issues. Not excited about the Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns day one preview, so I gotta watch that too. Wow, this is gonna be interesting because you know he's all about Roman. He loves. He's in love with this new tribal chief. I'm gonna this. You're very I'm gonna call him by his name because I because I don't want to say his name because I don't know it, but I'm gonna call him the name just because it's the sake of Ross. He is loved. He loves everything about this new. Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. I would say he's the biggest fan of it. You know, Dub's a fan of it because he's a fan of Roman, but and he hates Brock. But the fact that he's not interested in this, ooh, we'll see. Anyway, first thing first, why he didn't watch NXT, NXT War Games? Why he don't he don't care about NXT no more? So without further ado, I may have to re -run, uh, run back a little bit of AEW because it might go over my eight o'clock. I don't care. Let's this. Is, Ross is my, I like I said, I like, I got, I am big, I, I don't want to sound crazy, but I am a fan of Ross. I'm a fan of the Clutch, and Ross in particular, he's a fellow wrestling fan, and he's just a big, I, I would say, I'm going to say bigger, in my opinion, but yeah, so without further ado, let's see 
what's going on with Raw's and NXT, and then what's going on with Raw's and Roman Reigns and Brock. Let's get it. I go for a low key one and then make like a a contrast intro 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 to this because he calls himself like the evil the evil's hill with this uh, intro and I like the be like the good guy opposite of this, but it's raw, so I ain't, I ain't gonna do him like that. So a lot of y'all were asking me leading up to NXT War Games this year. Was I going to watch it? Was I going to live stream it? Were we going to do it on the main channel? And to be honest with you, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, it, it wasn't going to be something that I was going to be interested in. And for the first time in quite some time, for me, since maybe 2017, I didn't care about NXT. I didn't care about an NXT takeover. And that hmm. I wonder what what part of 2017 made him not care about NXT. Though. I got to think about that. I want, um, I think he watched my video because he actually commented on um, me react to his uh the laugh his co- laugh compilation and wrestling videos. Uh, Ross, you watching this? Let me know what happened in 2017 that made you not like NXT though, because that's what I would like to know that. Not, did you, nothing against us. Just want to know. It's kind of interesting. For me, is a signal of what's to come on my channel when it comes to NXT related content. Let's let's get into why I don't really care for NXT anymore. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, um, yeah, I won't probably be watching NXT like that anymore. Oh wow! Me personally, I just I just don't care for the brand when they rebranded it to NXT 2.0 under Vince McMahon's creative mind. Now, I use the word creative loosely. I already knew it was done. Once they won the Triple H to step down. And- yeah, a lot of folks did believe that, though. I was hyped to go to Raw 2, but, like, I'm kind of interested in Raw. Then again, it's come back. Well, I said in my previous video on the um, Add to Era, what? Add to Grace promo. I'm a fan of the new a new generation and kind of get that feel a little bit too with it, but yeah, and him, you know, suffering. Uh, I believe it was a heart attack. Mm. Him dealing with that, I knew it was done. Mm. I knew it was done. By and the I, way, uh, prayers up to Triple A's. I'm glad he's recovering right now too. So hopefully, we see him back soon. To say the new version of NXT is bad by any means. I'm mm. sure there are some noticeable stars and talent that they're trying to push and i'm pretty sure it's entertaining to some people for me i just i just don't care yeah and i will say that i am a big fan of braun breaker like him. i like him though i'm saying glad they kept him as a face after the war game match though god i wasn't sure and just, as they should keep him a face until he as they should keep him a face even when he go against a chopper again though because you can tell you can tell he has the biggest respect for the wrestlers that came before him and everything. Should keep that going. I know eventually going to turn him heel because you know they they call him Scott Steiner Jr. You know he's Rick Steiner's son, but they call him Scott Giant Steiner Jr. But yeah, I don't care, mm-hmm. and it sucks because I should care. I think it's not just them calling it NXT 2.0, giving mm-hmm. it a new uh, splash of paint. That's kind of like not getting me hyped to check out anything NXT related. I think it's a culmination of NXT at one point trying to compete with AEW, losing their identity. I think that's when things started to really take a turn and not in a good direction because it wasn't about making sure that they took care of the proper storylines and kept creating new stars. Granted, they were trying to in the process. It was more so about competing with AEW, and that's where they went wrong. That's where Triple H, I will give Triple H some criticism here. They went wrong with that, granted, I'm sure Vince McMahon was really pushing for them to beat AEW in the ratings. That's that's really what it was, and they were losing. Majority of the time, they were losing because they were trying to compete with another company that they shouldn't have been trying to compete. That, that there, I will say that did kind of hurt them. I will admit that. Like, they didn't have the computer. They they had they had it. What they they was good with it. Where they had though, that's I think that's what killing. And I will feel. I even gonna say that that's what's killing Russell right now. This competition going on, like I'm already like 
I'm like already sick of being in wrestling groups right now. I quit one that was part of a long time because that nonsense. Then I hear all the time in this central group I'm in, though, that I'm part of as well, too. I'm not going to make no names because I don't want to buy anything. I'm talking a bad mouth in the group, but I, if I am, oh well. If you know the group, I am, I, oh well, though. The groups I'm talking about, then you know. But anyway, I quit the group. I've been part of a long time because, one, aside from the payments and trolling, I got tired. I keep t- got tired of the. Mm, of the uh, the uh, the dick measurement, co- I'm gonna call it like I'm gonna say what it is. Call it the dick measurement co- measurement competition between the AEW fans, then the WWE fans, and the Impact fan, and the Indie, the New Japan fan. Yeah, then, then you have the folks who watch anything, think they are super elite, they better a wrestling fan. Then they like you got folks trying to make you feel less of a wrestling fan in these groups, though, like. I got tired of it amongst the trolling and the paganists. I got tired of it. I was quit. I was, was. I quit. I quit the group regretfully, but never looked back at it. If folks, sir, folks ask me if I ever come back. No, I'm not. Maybe a, a whole long time while, but no, I'm not gonna go back to that group. But the current group I'm part of right now, I'm gonna say their name and in this quarter, I they were really about about being a family. They were about you know. They are, they are very open minded. They are very you know caring as well too. I will say that. And the one I'm part of that's like a central one. You know I'm like this close to being just here and there with it because like it's it's definitely it's a lot of AW versus WWE in that group as well too. It's to the point like shut the fuck up. That's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, the competition. With that is killing wrestling fans. It's killing wrestling and wrestling fans in general. Know what I'm saying it's like back, and you know it was you know folks doing it. You know it was a big competition with the Add to Era and and uh between WCW and WWE, WWF, WWE at the time. You know maybe they, they trying to relive that, but really is now I guess it's killing it more now because you got the internet, you got social media a lot now. It's worse. I'm gonna say it like that. It's worse now. No more social media person or anything. I'm I'm I I'm going to be blunt that social media and wrestling has made it worse for the competition and everything, and, and for wrestling fandom in general. Not just because the trolling, the pettiness, and the dickhead shit, the elitist shit, and all of that, but also you know, K K fans K fans dead. We know that, and we know people know too much about what's going on behind the scenes. And it's kind of like killing the imagination we had about wrestling growing up. I will say that, you know. And I think that's part, they are a part of like the, what the whole thing of the, you know, folks going for their heels and the good, the heels, the bad guys over the face and the good guys more. That's, I think social media and the internet is kind of part of that as well too, you know. But other than that, keep going, Ross. AEW is doing its own thing. They're trying to cater to the wrestling fan, a hardcore wrestling fan. NXT was that for WWE fans. If you cared mm-hmm. about actual wrestling and, and good storytelling, you watched NXT for the most part. That's right. just what it was. And they were trying to compete with AEW, and I felt like they were forcing things, and they were losing their way, in my yeah. personal opinion. I feel like others felt like that as well. So that was... a that was the start of the downturn. And then after that, you have the recent releases. Oh, you yeah. Know, due to uh, to um, due to due budget cuts. Mm. And, you know, we had, you know, the whole COVID situation that yeah. kind of really slowed things down for NXT. Yeah, um, I can see, like, it being the main roster people getting released. But it was, like, NXT being people getting released, too, though. Even as folks we saw thought was going to get something going, like... I'm still disappointed. I'm um, doing they they and she said it herself. They did uh Frankie Monet, Talia Valkyrie, Frankie Monet. They did her dirty. I'm all saying. I don't care what alignment she was. They did her dirty. They did her dirty. They could have done a lot with her. They really could have done a lot with her. I was looking forward to seeing more they can do with her, and they fucked that up. That was that was disappointing. And don't get me started with here, bro. Didn't give they they shouldn't have got sent up in the first place and then they didn't give him a chance. And who else? Only Lorkin. That sucks as well too. Like uh, 
in my opinion, not having as many people there. And then they started letting people there. And then ultimately, they only started performing out of the performance center with a crowd mm-hmm. or whatnot at full sale and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I miss the NXT takeovers with the big crowds. Mm-hmm. That was that's what made NXT for me right. so enjoyable. My very first time seeing an NXT takeover in like 2017, I believe it was WrestleMania oh. weekend. I was actually okay. So that so Scratch Boss asked you, Ross. So this is when he started rolling NXT because before they didn't know too much. Yeah, don't blame because I think as a lot of people start start late though. Well, me, I told you I was kind of curious of NXT from the get go. Back when it was SCW, I just at the time I didn't know I could watch that shit on YouTube at the time. And then when it was XT, it was only exclusive in Hulu, and the time was skeptical of a streaming service or anything. Uh, but when the WWE Network came out, I wanted it, and I got it. And that's why uh, when I watched NXT, I fell in love. And it was like in 2014, if I can think of. But yeah, a lot of people. But I think 17 is when they really became big or anything. They start being like almost big as the main roster. But yeah. On vacation with the homie Doug, we was in Florida, and I made it my mission when I got back home to watch WrestleMania because okay. I didn't really get to see it, and then I wanted to check out NXT because everybody was talking mm-hmm. about the best night for wrestling that yes. weekend. It usually is, and to see, I hadn't heard crowds like that yeah. so excited. I didn't know the characters, the wrestlers like that, and I was just. That's, I was amazed, and from there I started mm-hmm. checking out NXT right. on the regular. That's what that was the thing about NXT, though. Like when I even when I first saw it, way back in 2014, when it was first my first down the network, the network first happened, and I was at I was able to watch NXT. That crowd was the best, had to be the best wrestling crowd ever. And I found out that's how and you know watching my videos, you know doing the wrestling match of the week. That's how the any crowd was. They was like the any crowd. For Duddy E fans, that was what that was, and they would love it. At the time when NXT, you you could that's they, they was like it was like felt like it was okay to root for the faces and the hills. You know the ascent. I remember the ascensions. They were supposed to be hills, but they was over as fuck with the crowd. It was crazy. It was kind of similar with that with uh LSP and Aaron and Cole. No matter how you, they'll boom for a minute, but it was still he was still always as fuck as a hill. That's why that face turn. I love that that face turn happened because they needed it. Like and I, and, I, and going in for it, I feel like Legato need uh, need that kind of face turn as well too. Like like the undisputed head because they's always as fuck though. This past that past episode of the smack of uh, NXT, they was you know Zion Quinn was the face going against them. They was still over as fuck though. They need a face rub or something like that. And I feel like they should have a face rub against Tony D'Angelo. Because I want a feud between Santos and Tony D'Angelo, like a mob versus cartel thing. And have Tony D'Angelo be the, the hills. And his mob, his Italian mob be the hill with Legato being the face. That should happen. But yeah, that crowd made NXT. I will say that. Because I'm like, this is, this is what I need. This is the fix I need. You know what I'm saying? So from there... I watched every single takeover, every single yes. one, from 2017 on to now, till recently, uh, um, last night. That was the first, last night was the first NXT takeover I did not watch mm. since 2017. Wow. And it's just, it sucks. It, it really, it really. I look forward, to, I look forward to it because I'm going to hold. But I don't blame them because they said that the build up, some people saying the build up was pretty poor. I didn't think so. But I will say it was kind of late with the uh, war game thing. But I didn't, I, I didn't think it was a bad thing. I liked, I liked it the way they did it. You know, you know, I did wish Regal would say, but some people didn't like the build, the build up for it though. I will say that he does suck. So to not see those type of crowds during the NXT takeover like we used to, it, it kind of doesn't hype me up to want to see them in the future. And then to be honest with you. I don't even care to get invested in any of these wrestlers anymore because they all end up getting released uh, if it doesn't work out on the main roster. They all end up getting released or they change their character, or they change their gimmick to something that's super cringe on the main roster. I can't care. That's, it's like, you can't blame him for that. You cannot blame Ross for that. That's sad right there. Think about that sad. Like, it's like, 
it's like the inevitable now that it's the inevitable that you can possibly get released. Right now, we're supposed to realize because they started they're talking about sending Ozzy Jones to the main roster already. And I put that in that one, the one group of essential in, and folks is like already saying, well, see him, see him, he'll be gone in six months or be gone in three months, whatever. He's going to be cut. Like, folks a lot of hope, a lot of really lost hope about anything with any NXT call ups now. It's sad. Like, you know, before that, in the group I'm not with no more, I had guys calling NXT, calling main roster, not even call up, but a uh, a demotion. Folks will even get mad by calling WWE like Raw Smack the main roster. They would say, like, that's not the main roster. Don't call it that. That's the flagship roster and everything. I let it go because I ain't thinking about it, but then again, I agree. Then it's all star agree calling it though because I don't like how they do doing how they because I I ain't like because I ain't like how they work the, the face and heel uh, dynamics there. But it's sad though. Like you're, it's like you're, if they get called up, it's like folk getting called up, it's not like a, a good thing no more. Like you get called the main roster, you're more afraid and giving up on a person then be more excited like you used to be when a person get called up like when the girls are now known as the four horsemen got called up you was excited you were excited about at the time small joe getting called up you was a little bit excited when apollo got called up who else Shinsuke nakamura and bobby rue but then later down the line you like what the fuck did they do like it's it's crazy you used to be excited about calls now you're like you're like Head scratching when you see somebody get called to the main roster. <sighs> I cannot care. I, I know for a fact, uh, Tommaso has said in the past he will never go to the main mm-hmm. roster. He'll he'll just retire. He'll leave NXT. And Johnny Gargano going to the main roster, you can, that's career suicide. He might as well go to AEW, bro. Like the people that you care yeah. about and invest time into. On NXT. And you know that they say that then that I'm wondering if that's possible that he's going and he's going to another company. Well, I know he's taking a break because of Candace because she's about to have a baby, but it's because he'd be going to another company or could he come back after what happened last night with Boyce and Waller? You know, Kyle's gone. Kyle's gone. You can say that. Kyle's gone. He's going to, to join his bros in the AEW. You say that right now. I hope I could be wrong, but he's gone. See, it doesn't matter. Because either Vince is not going to like what they got going exactly. on and going to try to change their character or gimmick that worked in NXT. They don't even give them a chance to really just really go with this person. Like, it doesn't matter. So what's the point of getting invested in these mm-hmm. characters and wrestlers if they're just yeah, going to get I'm dropped the, anyway? I'm just, it's going to go these over. These last recent drop, like the last recent releases with Karen Cross, Keith mm-hmm. Lee, people that I was getting interested in, now that they're gone, that's the big like, thing well, right there. I don't, I don't care no more. Yeah, that was. So what's the point? That was the big hurt right there when them two got released. That was the big hurt right there. And I mean, no cross was a hill, but like that was a big hurt right there. Like that way right there was like, you know, it's the inevitable now for uh, NXT talent going up to the main roster. But they got released. It was our, It was a little bit before that, but when that happened, it was like, oh, this ain't it ain't, it ain't happening. That's another reason why I don't watch NXT because I don't care. You can have someone great in NXT. Everyone's been telling me LA Knight is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen too much of him. I'm like, that's cool. But what are they going to do when he gets to the main roster? It doesn't matter. He can be the greatest in NXT. You get to the main roster. If you ain't got some type of protection backstage from Vince, which no one does, realistically, damn near, then it doesn't matter. You, you're out of there. Out that's of there. that's sad. Like... So I, I can't really get invested in the characters and the wrestlers because it's not a guarantee that they. I'm not saying it. what he's saying is sad because he's he's he said I'm saying it's a sad truth. He's saying what he's saying is sad truth. Like that's sad. That's how jacked up WWE is now. That's it's like the sad truth almost now. Around for a while, honestly, with the culmination of all those things of. NXT 2.0 reeking of Vince McMahon's mm. cringe for me personally, and and I, I I just I just I really don't care. I I just don't, man. I mean, I hate you know me. I'm like very rare. I make cringe worthy stuff. They got a couple cringe worthy stuff. Like whatever they get, whatever they doing with Kushida and and uh, Ike Manjiro, 
is low key cringe. I ain't gonna lie. I like it, but in on a, but in this but I am on a little bit side of me kind of cringe a little bit with that as well too. And I just know is the girl. If you watched the last episode of uh, NXT this past Tuesday, yesterday, and it was a uh, Man and I guess Eggman Jiro, uh It was uh, Brooks and Jensen. Well, like original uh, veteran going at it in the backstage and everything. I liked the little moment with uh, Kaden and Cassie with them ask for going to the concert and Briggs and Jensen going by them. Then I had Manjaro and Grizzle Young, Young Veteran went at it. And then all of a sudden, you have some girl that was like second day in a row, a girl in a PJ sleeper who's like come out of nowhere in like a PJ and like a night night uh blonde for whatever. And I kept wondering, who is this girl ran sleeping? Somebody told me it's uh, Karen Q who was not too long ago playing Tian Shaw. Are you kidding me? Like I'm interested to see what's going on, but ain't no Tia Shaw was a Tia Shaw uh, was a was a uh, a heel. Still, that's what they're doing. That's what happened with that. I don't know. I don't know. They, they, I don't know they're doing a double character with it though, because you know they do that in wrestling, like a double persona, or whatever, alter ego, whatever. But that's what they did with her now. I mean, I've been, I've been excited to see Karen Q in the main roster, in like not main roster, but in the uh, main NXT stage. You know, I've been hearing about her doing like the road shows and all that. So I mean, the poor service, but she she got sidetracked because of injury. But still, that's what they doing with her now. Okay, it sucks. And I'm sure there's probably some good things on this new version of NXT. Braun Breaker. But I don't care. I I just I don't. And Melo Hazy, he's a face. You know he'll. I know y'all may be disappointed. I know a lot of you guys have asked me this. So are you going to watch? I, if I didn't respond, there's a good, that was your answer. You know, I was actually out. I was actually out and about having a good time, enjoying myself. Because I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to sit here. And I'm, I, I heard some good things about the show. But overall, I still don't care. I don't. I'm sorry. That's just my personal standpoint on nxt that is why i won't be watching nxt like that unless you guys are really just flooding my inbox like yo you gotta check out nxt's nxt's been getting really good please check it out please check it out only then but outside of that i'm i'm not bro you know what i hate to do it but i'm about to um just do on this video only though i was going to do the one about the rumor reigns one as well too there's a back of back thing but I'm just going to stick with this one. I, I check out the other one another time, maybe tomorrow as a or afterwards, because I. But yeah, because I don't want to make this long video longer than it should be. And be honest with y'all, I'm I'm kind of just I'm already doing the it whole now. NXT 2.0. This is just for me. It's it's the end of an era, man. It's the end of WWE actually having some some creative mm. ideas and developmental that was getting individuals over not to say that they still don't have it but i just feel like nxt 2.0 is literally vince mcmahon saying i can do this myself i got this i'm gonna you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make no, you sure don't vince that i you know we take this brand to the next level and it's not going to the next level i know there's been reports that people are not having fun like the uh, the wrestlers are not actually having fun like they used to oh, on this new version of NXT. Nice. And I, wow. I can I'm willing to bet that that's probably an accurate uh statement, an accurate uh be surprised either. um situation for these wrestlers. They're probably not as having as much fun as they were yep. when yeah. Triple H was running it. It seemed like they was enjoying what they were doing, and now it's just like I don't know, man. I I just I just don't care. I'm sorry, y'all. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys did watch NXT War Games. Are you guys liking the new version of NXT 2.0? Do you guys prefer the old version of NXT? Do you even watch NXT now? I, I really want to know. And, uh, you know, kind of discuss in the comment section. But for me, I'm done. I checked out. Uh, yeah, NXT for me is, is a done deal. But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace. Yeah, that's the thing. When they, when any of them check out with anything, they literally check out. Cause like even the one I was watching, um, they watched like a best of NXT, then they went to some of the main roster. 
I found out that Dub and Triple A do not watch WWE at all anymore. They only watch him when Raw's watch the club. Like, he's the only one hanging in there watching WWE. And I do mean, literally, he's hanging in there. Like, I'm, I may be, because I think he said SmackDown was trash at one point in the video. Um, so yeah, he might be losing his faith with WE worse than I am. And I'm, cause I'm admitting, I'm kind of losing my faith with them as well too. Like, and with some of the stuff he, mo not some, damn near all this stuff he said is facts. He knows like, I, I know being gun hole and still dealing with it. Everything he said is facts. It's like, what's the point of getting investing in XT talent? If you ain't gonna do shit with them in the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say your air course main roster. I really mean in air course main roster. And I'm not gonna, and I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not. It's, this is, if this is like, not too much against the Tropic Keys. Don't like the Tropic Keys. I don't like them. I don't like them. I'm with them. I don't like them. I, I feel like he catered to the haters on that one. I feel like they're so invested in that, and among others. That they're like not even paying attention to the rest of the talent people who are just as talent as the tribal chief who's just as good as them. Like a lot of folks, like like people was literally mad. You know, people was on the tribal chief's dick. I'm gonna say it. People was there are people that was really mad that they let they had them beat Big E. Like they thought Big E could have used that win. Like he at least could have upset a win or something like that. They feel like him losing kind of value him as being a WWE champion. Champion. And I pray that they don't. I I don't want them to drop the title to Seth Rollins, but folks saying it might happen. If that happens, I'm not. Sh I, I'm I'm going to be slowly, slowly crawling away from WWE myself. I'm probably really not, but I feel like I, I'm gonna be feeling like it. I'm, I'm going to, but I hope he at least take it to the WrestleMania at least, man. And there's folks talking about they, they don't like his run. I'm talking about Big E. They don't like his run. They want to strap back on Bobby Lashley. And that's the, and that's me bring back to the other thing. Like they're not doing good with the faces. Like they're not dirt. It's, I feel kind of disrespected because I, because I identify with a good guy more than a bad guy. I feel disrespected how they're not investing in folks that, the good folks that good people looked up to. They're they're investing much into the hills, the bad guys, the villains. Like that's like you gotta at least be if you're gonna do that, be invested with them, be invested in them equally. Don't be don't make be invested in one and not the other. Like, you know it's hard. It's in in life it's hard to be a good person. It's hard to be a good person. I will say that. In life in general, it's hard to be a good guy and, and bad guys, you know, because it's hard to please everybody. But make it at least right enough so people can be still pleased with the good guy. You know what I mean? Go back to the, I hate to be the be one saying it, but go back to the attitude era uh, engine of good guys and bad guys. Like, making the good guy be just as badass as the bad guy, but still repping for the good guys. You know what I mean? Make them interesting. Like, for real. Because... You're making it not easy for the good guys anymore. That's the other thing. Huh. Yeah, so this one just do this one. I'm gonna do the Roman Reigns, his reason on not one be invested in the Roman Reigns thing in another video, because I already made this video longer than it is. I don't make make this an hour video, but <laughs> Ross, you my dude, and I don't blame you for your re your reason. You know, I'm still rolling with NXT 2.0 because I do kind of like what's going on there, but I don't blame you. For how you feel about NXT. Now I can't wait to see how you feel about your re, watch your video about how you feel about Brock and Roman, but I probably won't end up no blame you on that either. You know I might go on with it because I like that's me. I'm gun hold with stuff. I hate to gotta like I like I uh, I fight I craw, scratch and crawl to force myself to like stuff. That's me. I will admit it, but I don't blame you. Then I don't blame you. I don't blame. Ross and uh, all they dub and trip Billy for not watching WWE anymore at all because they do this up the favor, you know. Just I, I hate to miss something, do it, then also I miss something happening in this, and I got oh man, I should have watched it because I've done it before at that time. Because this time I took breaks from wrestling, and there been times I regret taking them breaks. I will say that. So, other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe, use your channel. Shout out to Kicking It Ross being one of them, to me, one of the best. 
best wrestling reactor better than me. And shout out to the new clutch for being the ghosts of react, being the kings of reactors. I will say that the ghosts. I was the one of the ghosts. I will say they're one of the ghosts, along with Tyrone Menace and many others. It's your boy T Bear signing all. One love.